Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing things a little bit differently. We're gonna be doing a get ready with me, but instead of me doing a little story time, I'm gonna be talking all things quarantine, what I've been doing to keep myself busy, keep myself sane, and keep myself happy. So if you wanna see how I get this super sassy look using the new Fuck the World palette from Kesha Rose with its beautiful tassel and all, and here when we talk what I've been up to, then sit back, relax, enjoy this video, and don't forget, like this video, subscribe below, and hit that notification bell. So I'm sure everyone else is in a similar situation, unless you're essential, um, which by the way, if you're an essential worker, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Couldn't do this without you, literally. Like no one could make this happen without you. So I love you, I love you, I love you. Stay well. Oh my goodness, my heart goes out to all of you. Um, but if you're not essential like myself or you find yourself laid off from your job or it's just, we're, we're in the thick of this weird quarantine time together. Most places, if not all are at stay at home orders. Most of you like myself have been passing the time with good old streaming services. And let me tell you, I am so grateful that I have all of them. So I have the Netflix, the Hulu, the Disney Plus, the Amazon. But for the most part, I've just been diving into movies, which normally isn't my thing. My husband is really, really into movies. But for the most part, <laughs> anyone who's watched a movie with me knows, all that happens is that I make it about 20 minutes in and then boom, I'm asleep. But as of late, I've been trying really, really hard to stay awake from movies. Um, I'm not always successful, but I have been doing a lot better. You can ask my husband. He's very, very proud of me because I am, it's just notorious. I don't know what it is. You turn it on and it is like immediately, like I am being, saying a lullaby by the actors. Like it is just, it is insane. I don't know many other people who cannot stay awake for a movie as an adult. But regardless of that, I have been watching a lot more movies, really trying to stay awake. And we had been scrolling through the other night trying to find something to watch. And we stumbled upon Onward on Disney Plus. And I knew it just come out. I didn't know anything about it. So I was like, mm, have to watch that. Okay, so I went in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. And so I'm gonna go in with the Overachiever Concealer from Huda Beauty as well now. Um, okay, so we uh, start watching Onward. And I mean, first two minutes, it's giving you like a little bit of a backstory. I don't think I'm ruining anything telling you this, giving you a backstory about how there was magic and about how through like modern technology and conveniences and stuff, how they've lost their magic and how everyone lives normal lives, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm like, oh, this will be a cute story about how, how we need to like reconnect with each other. And while that is a slight theme about like reconnecting with your like your heritage or your past or your community or your family or anything. Um, it's actually the biggest theme in the movie is dealing with the death of a parent. And that definitely blindsided me. So um, if you don't know me personally, you may not know, but I'm 26 now and I lost my mom when I was uh, 22 years old. And four years later, it is still very weird. Um, still very strange. And I, of course, deal with a lot of different emotions all the time. And it is very bizarre. And during this quarantine, I've been really, really missing her and thinking about her a lot more. Her name was Dawn. Love you, Mom. And it, it's just, I wish, I really, really wish Disney Pixar would have had this movie when I was growing up because it's really beautiful how they address some of the themes in the movie. Okay, we are back. I had to pull myself together a little bit. Sorry about that. Um, what I was saying is I really wish I would have had a movie like this when I was younger to kind of explain some things to me. Um, I won't talk about it a whole lot. I won't give a lot away, but they really, really do an awesome job at some really, really difficult shit. Some, some stuff that I definitely had a hard time dealing with, understanding, 
that they really tackle head on. And I was so, so impressed. Outside of that funny, cute movie, so, so good. And it means the world to me. And I will forever be a favorite now because it is, it is beautiful and it is meaningful and it is a good, good film. So definitely get out there and watch it. If you want something heartwarming and real, like genuinely real, it is an awesome film. Okay, so I bronzed my face up with the Tantor. I went in and I'm doing my baking with the Huda Beauty uh, Easy Bake Powder. I already talked about how much I love this a couple times. And I'm gonna set my face with the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder in the shade uh, Creamy Natural 110. So I'm gonna use that to set my face and dust off my bake. Um, so outside of like that movie, we haven't really watched anything new. And I'm someone who like loves rewatching some like old movies I'm obsessed with. So I, we were like talking with my husband. We were just like back and forth, like, okay, what movies have you not seen? And I realized he hadn't seen some of my like all time favorite films. So he'd never seen She Devil, which a lot of people haven't. I highly, highly recommend if you love something like over the top and super campy. It is so good. It's like Roseanne Barr's, I believe her like first big film before she was an asshole. Um, and young Meryl Streep looking super, super hot, playing like a sexy, total bitch romance novelist. So we love, we stand. It is so, so, so good. Highly recommend we watched that one. And then we're also fans of like older TV shows. So we've been watching like a lot of the Golden Girls. Um, I've been digging into like old cartoons. We watched Will and Grace from beginning to end again because some feel good, some nostalgia. But that's been most of what I've been doing for like TV and stuff. We don't really, I don't personally watch a lot of new stuff. My husband's a big fan of like newer TV and I'm kind of like, eh, give me something I can throw on in the background while I like <laughs> scroll on my phone or play on my Nintendo Switch, which if you don't have one, you can afford one, get one. It is so, so, so good. I'm obsessed with it. But I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and then we're gonna come back to play with the Fuck the World palette. Hey y'all. Okay, I finished everything on my face except for highlighter because I kind of like to save that for last. My eye look kind of determines my highlighter. So we're gonna dive right into the Kesha Rose Fuck the World palette. First off, Sassy Tassel, obsessed. This packaging is insane. I just got this, so I'm giving a tiny little review. Uh, this is actually like a felt. This is like textured and beautiful and you open her up. You have a huge mirror, but these shadows are stunning. Are you kidding me? Get a good look at these babies. All of these are, I think there's some pressed pigments, there's some eyeshadows, and then there's one pressed glitter, and that's the shade TikTok, this guy right here. It's kind of a glitter gel kind of formula. But we're gonna dive in. I think I'm gonna do, when I opened this palette up, my husband was like, oh, that green, talking about uh, this Godzilla shade down here. So I'm gonna do an all like monochromatic green look with all the fun greens here in the palette. So I'm very, very excited. Okay, so I'll tell you what shades in specific I'm using in my eyes underneath. But for the most part, I'm just gonna be like doing the eye look and shooting the shit. Okay, so um, movies, of course, TV shows, yes. And I've actually been reading a few books. So I'm really obsessed with Chelsea Handler. She's like one of my favorite people in the world. I think she's just like a freaking badass in every way. She's just cool, charitable, smart, and like super tenacious and I'm really, really into her. I have all of her books. So I've uh, been reading her most recent one, Life Will Be the Death of Me. And what I've been doing is I have Audible, which I love. And so I've been reading a chapter and then listening to a chap the same chapter, but her reading it. And it's really giving me a little more like insight to how she's really feeling while she's telling her own story. So I'm really, really loving that right now. And then for a little more fun, I've actually been rereading this series of unfortunate events, LOL, and I highly recommend. They're fast reads, they're super cute, and they're shockingly dark for children. Like some of the scenarios, I'm just like, that's rough shit. Um, so I have been really, really loving those, kind of giving me some more nostalgia and just, you know, memories of easier times, happier times. And I highly recommend, I went to Half Price Books actually, um, before they were fully closed, they were doing like a curbside pickup thing and they had all 13 of them. So I was like, can I get those? They gave me a discount. They brought them out, dropped them in my trunk. It was amazing. Now they're only doing online orders, unfortunately, but I really recommend looking back at books you used to love, even from when you were like in high school and give them a reread because 
it has really brought me like a lot of joy. So outside of like books, movies, the basic stuff you can do inside, I would say the thing that's really, really been keeping me sane is absolutely walking right now. I'm not someone who really loves to like run run like I enjoy running like for the I'll do like a like a light jog but I've been doing a lot of like really long walk run kind of like combos and I it, it has been I, I like outside of the makeup where I just come in here and I put some on and I feel better and I just talk to the camera outside of this it is the only thing really keeping me sane right now. That time where I'm just by myself, outside. I walk through neighborhoods and stuff. I don't like to walk through parks because everyone thinks that social distancing is still not a thing sometimes. So I stay out of parks for the most part, but, and I just run in like the neighborhoods, but it's so beautiful. If I see someone on a porch from like far away, everyone's waving, saying hello, just the trees, just like being in nature, just like either listening to my music or just listening to my breath and like jogging for a minute and just like being with myself. It's been so important. And I highly, highly recommend that if you can, if you are able to, and it is safe, I cannot emphasize that enough. If you can and it is safe, get outside and just breathe some fresh air for a minute. If you can't, open a window and just be in the sun for a second. It really, really does a lot for me. Okay, everybody, we are back with the final eye look. And oh my gosh, yes. Kesha Rose Beauty, the Fuck the World palette, with what I've played with already, this is a hit, hit, hit. Oh my gosh, pick it up. I only played with the greens and a little bit of the glittery black tonight, but this is so, so beautiful and so fun. I feel like a sexy alien, Godzilla, like sexy monster. I'm living for this. But we are gonna finish it up with a little bit of highlighter, like I said. So I'm gonna jump into the Drama Queen palette from Kimchi, and I'm really, really torn. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit. I'm gonna go with this guy, this super, super like champagne sassy shade, and then a little bit of the mint, just a touch, just a touch of weird in the highlighter. So let's blend it up, bitches. Bam! Look at that. You, between these eyes and this cheek, y'all could see me from space. All right, we are back. This is the final look. I am glowing to space. Uh, this is my quarantine look of the day, as you might say. Um, but thank you so much for coming and like sitting down with me, shooting the shit, playing with some new stuff, and just like helping me zen out. You guys have no idea, I've said it before. Me doing these videos helps me like more than you can even know and it's just icing on the cake when you guys watch so thank you so much for watching that brings us to the end of the video don't forget like this video thumbs up really really helps me uh, comment below i love to hear from you guys subscribe hit that notification bell and thank y'all so much for watching i love y'all